Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we will be talking about the Google Assistant. So I'm going to share you guys some of the few facts about the Google Assistant that is uh, that you might know or you might not know. All right. So first, we'll start. Uh, it is an artificial intelligence based software. Even though it is uh, built as on the top of the Google Now, but the Google Now does have a certain limitation. So we'll uh, cover that too later. So what is AI? in terms of google assistant so whatever environment it perceives and it takes action based on that one to maximize the chance of success at some goal so that means uh, it does have some certain limitation it can work up to uh, you know a predefined limitation because since it is a software it's not a fully functional working machine so it has limitation but the more you use it the more you know the programming algorithm written in the, in the application will try to you know uh, let it know about you more and in the future whenever you ask something personal that you've already asked so it can directly reply you based on your previous queries and feedbacks all right now the fact number two the google assistant work with your built-in apps too not as of now all the apps are supporting but few apps like uh, google photos are fully integrated with them so just giving you an example show me my selfies So it does takes and reads your photos from the Google Photos and whatever photos you have. It just shows you there. So uh, as I said here, it is working on apps. Not all apps are uh, separate. If I just try to uh, you know play YouTube, let me show. Uh, play some of the videos on YouTube. Here are some matching videos. I don't know what is took, but anyway, uh, this is what it does. So uh, it's not fully functional working as of now, but since this is still a uh, very early stage, it should work very soon. All right now. Uh, fact number three uh, it follows up your chat that means whatever you have written uh, or told them earlier it is remembering that one in the future uh, when you ask the same thing here it's going to give you the answer so let me just open it here if i ask playing music so asset here this is related to previous fact it just opens youtube and plays the music right so we'll start with the fact here as it is a follows up your chat so if i ask my ATM pin code is one two three four. Okay, I'll remember that. So see, see if you ask with me, see this is a prediction. It already showed you uh, what you want to uh, ask. So if I say simply click here. Here's what you've told me. Uh, October nineteenth, twenty sixteen. My ATM pin code is twelve thirty four. Or if I just ask, what was my ATM pin code? Here's what you've told me. October 19th, 2016. My ATM PIN code is 1234. So as we have seen guys, so you can store some of the information, not just PIN code, you can either type anything here like your any phone number, any information, any text. So it remembers all things here. That's why it's called follow up chat. It's following your things here. And another fact number four is that you can subscribe to particular stuff like, uh, you know, uh, news and weather and all. So let me just show you here. So if you just open hello and go inside this Google Assistant, so you can see, uh, there are a lot of things you can ask with you here what if you just see uh, so you can ask things like subscription news answers sports so you can ask the same here uh, from the uh, google system itself what can you do there are lots of things i can help you with for example you can say things like navigate home or navigate to work swipe to see more options so many things are here and click on this you know any of the weather stuff here so help me with i can tell just... you the daily forecast or if you need an umbrella so it shows you can tell a daily forecast so you can simply ask here so it will work with that and the fact number five uh, it remembers the thing here so for example just the temperature or whatever things you have asked so it tracks your record you can go to your accounts.history.google.com and you can check whatever things you have asked so if i just go and settings here my activity if you just go that it will remember all things here so this is what are more important compared to the google now now guys i want to show you something here so that's why i have taken here with reference to my windows phone so here is uh, cortana which is similar to what we have in windows ecosystem or we uh, the android we have google assistant so i'm just going to ask a couple of things here so these are a kind of you know uh, enhancement that google assistant should do because i found some of the things are very uh, good in the cortana so i'm just going to ask it the same question in both the places what time is in tokyo the time in tokyo japan is 4 p.m. what i found 
so as you can see here guys the cortana shows time in a as analog clock so that's completely changing and showing time in seconds if you just keep your phone in that way so it shows accurate information you can let it that way in case you want to you know view it for later purpose so this is the first point now we'll ask another question here what's 135 divided by 10 the answer is 13.5 the answer is 13 and a half so even though this is slower because of you know hardware processor it happens to and but you can see here it shows me a calculator uh, built in here which you can easily you know it's kind of funny and looks cool and stuff too like you you'll get a calculator your father you can uh, do any operations and also uh, these are kind of uh, improvements here and that google should make and let me ask some uh, another thing here what do you say good night in japanese Oyasumi. okay here is how to say what do you say good night in Japanese. So, I don't know. Um, both have given some different answer. I don't know about the Japanese stuff. But guys, you can see here. So here's the one. It shows me exactly a different window. You can type and change the language here. So it uh, looks to be a much optimized way here in, in the situation. Uh, let me just ask another question. Flip a coin. Sure. Tails. so see this is how it looks most cool here so it should I, I was believing that if i just click here it shows me you know to flip the coin again so uh, this is what uh, things here and yeah guys one thing i found more here so you can also play uh, nice games here let's play some game sure just tap the kind you want Okay, which one? So that one took me here to uh, play Google Store and I don't know what is that but I played the song actually I said let's play game so as we see guys this is what it opens in the uh, it's kind of time killing things you can do and kill your time here so that's it guys time to uh, wrap up this video it's already been too long so i hope you guys find this video helpful so do try to play with google assistant and whatever ai based software you have sometimes you know it gives really cool information that you can use it at any later purpose time without even depending on certain installing any apps and all so uh, this is sort of and i'll catch you next video thanks for watching